to create a keto newsletter. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Janet, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content, and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here, and welcome back to my channel. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. do work once again. I work six days a week. I have Mondays off usually, so I am working today from 1 until 7.30, but I was up bright and early today, actually. I was up around 8 o'clock. It's already just after 9. Made my coffee. You had seen me make another iced coffee. I'm addicted. I made it a little bit differently today because I finally got my hands on the caramel skinny syrup. Caramel is my favorite flavor. I love anything caramel. So, and I've been on the hunt to find the caramel because it is really hard to find. As soon as it comes out at like a Marshalls or Winners, which is like a TJ Maxx in the States, it's gone within a day. So finally, I was at work because I do work at Winners, which is like the TJ Maxx, and I found one. So I quickly grabbed it and put it on hold in order for me to buy it on one of my breaks and it is amazing. So I love it so much. That is going to be my new favorite between that and the salted caramel mocha. The skinny syrups is what makes it. If you guys are not doing the skinny syrups, what are you waiting for? You need to go and get some. I get all of mine pretty much from Winners and Marshalls. Um, there is also a Pharmasave, which is kind of like a pharmacy um, store, and they do sell a lot of skinny syrups um so i have gone there occasionally but for the best price is always winners and marshalls so make sure that you go and check out your winners or tj maxx or marshalls where you are at and stock up on some of your favorite flavors they go really really fast they do at my store anyways so just wanted to give you guys that little update little iced coffee update also today is going to be there goes the train again Always, always when I pick up this camera, the, the train goes. So we can literally see the train from our house. I'll show you in a sec. All right, so in between these two houses is where the train comes through. And that is why we can hear the train so prominent. So our house is literally one block off of the number one highway, which is the highway that goes straight across Canada all the way from east to west. And... Um, it's obviously as well where the train goes through. So that is why you hear the train so much in my videos and I always make jokes about it because it always goes off all the time. But some people do like it because of the, um, what is it, M-A-S-R, you know, to listen to the train. But I hear it all the time. I wanna say it's every hour, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I've never really kept track. Today is going to be a day of showing you exactly what I ate in order to lose over 100 pounds. I always share these videos once in a while. I kept it pretty clean when I started out in order for me to lose over 100 pounds. It's just recently that I've started going kind of to net carbs, but I do share somewhat equally clean carbs with only counting total carbs. And I also share uh, net carb videos where you would subtract any fiber, any sugar alcohols, uh, from your from what you're eating like whatever product it is so today is going to be a total carb day I know a lot of you guys love these videos and a lot of you that are losing are doing total carbs so you find videos like this very beneficial so today's recipes are very very simple I kept it very simple and very clean when I started and it just helped me along the way to keep things 
really, really easy. And when I was first learning, it was hard to know what I was eating, how to figure out my net carbs, and just a lot of those things when I started. And I wanted to keep going, so I kept things really, really clean and total carbs. So I kind of got a grasp on what keto was and how I should be eating. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I have lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic diet and during the time I made a lot of clean keto meals and I researched a lot of meals online from YouTube channels just like you're watching me today of those have, that have been successful on losing weight. And I decided I have always wanted to start either my own ebook, my own cookbook, my own meal plans. However, those things I'm realizing is taking a long time and a lot of work. So I already work over a 40 hour week between two part-time jobs, plus I do YouTube where I upload three times a week. However, I did set aside some time in the last month to create a keto newsletter. I am so excited to be sharing with you today and that it is launched on a website. I wanted to show you exactly what is entailed in that newsletter that I have created on a monthly basis. The keto newsletter that I have created is going to involve two recipes that I have created and that I kind of put together while losing over 100 pounds and these recipes helped me along the way. So I will include two very new recipes what I, I haven't shared on my channel and I won't share on my channel. These recipes are going to be exclusive just with the keto newsletter that I have created. They will also include for you guys a three day keto meal plan. Oh, how helpful is that? I know I was looking for ideas, especially for even me to get started, for me to get into ketosis, and I have created a three-day meal plan, which you guys will also be getting in this keto newsletter. And these will change on a monthly basis. Every month, I will be sending out a newsletter, and they will have two new recipes, exclusive, which I have never recorded, never shared on my channel before, and I will also have the three day keto meal plan, which will also change and update every month on a monthly basis. So everybody always asks me, how do I get started on keto? This is what's going to help you. I promise you, I have learned from experience. I have lost the weight. I have done the research. I have seen what works, seen what doesn't work, and I am going to be sharing it with you guys with a keto newsletter. So I'm so excited that I finally got something together. How do I start keto? What should I be eating on keto? All of these questions I get on a daily. And so that's why I created this keto newsletter because I do put a lot of effort going into these recipes. I also wanna make YouTube my full-time job. I wanna share more information with you. I wanna upload more videos for you guys. So I would love it if you would support me and check out the link below that I have for you for less than $10 a month. You guys can get those exclusive recipes and meal plans. So make sure you check out the link below if you are not ready to commit to a monthly newsletter. Um, you can also be supportive of the channel and you can buy me a coffee. So for $4, you can buy me a coffee whenever you want. You can do it every day. You can do it once a month or just if you're feeling generous and you want to help me out and support me. That would be amazing. You guys know I love creating content. I want to do more of it and that is one way definitely that you can help me support my channel so that I can keep on creating content and maybe even upload a few more videos. And I would absolutely love it if you would check it out. You guys so know that I appreciate all of you. I love the comments that you leave. I love the likes that you give me. It helps my channel grow as well. Watching the commercials that I have on my videos and as long as you guys are doing all that, you guys are definitely supporting me in one way or another by just doing those simple tasks. So thank you so much 
for supporting me and I appreciate all of you. And you guys know you're my friends. I talk to you about everything. And now I'm kind of getting into a little bit more personal stuff about, you know, my home office and my flowers that I planted, what we're doing in our front yard. Jimmy's been vlogging. Like I try to give you as much content as I can. And now a little bit personal information about myself that I'm sharing now. So thank you so much for being here. And once again, thank you guys for all your support. Ah. All right, everyone, let's get into our meals that we're having today. I am going to be keeping it clean keto today. I know a lot of you do love the clean keto where we are only tracking total carbs. After each meal, I always put down the macros, which will include only the calories and the total carbs today. Um, but I always try to keep my macros. Right now, I am still like losing, which I have lost a few pounds in the last month because I have been so strict on myself. But I still have that weight gain from Christmas that I always talk about, and I'm sure everybody's sick of hearing that I have those eight, 10 pounds that I do need to lose that I went off the rails at Christmas time and it still has kind of stuck. But it is crunch time. My stepdaughter is getting married August 1st. That is motivation for me to stay on track. And that's why today I wanted to share a video with the total carbs because there has been a lot of days that I've been going back to basics and have been doing the total carbs. So without further ado, let's get started on our first meal. All right, everyone, today's first meal is going to be definitely one of the meals that I have had. I might have shared it already on my YouTube, but it was a staple and I had it most of the time when I was losing. And even my 18 year old daughter loved this meal so much that I even had to make double the amount because she always wanted to have some as well too. She would even ask me, even if I wasn't having that, she would even ask me, to make it for her. That's how good this recipe is. I created it myself and it is absolutely amazing. So I'm not sure exactly what I called it. I probably will like, it's it's kind of like a breakfast, breakfast cheese taco maybe is what I'll call it. And that is what I'm going to be sharing with you today. It is very clean keto and it is total carbs and we are keeping our carbs definitely on the low end today. So let's get started in making that. To preheat our oven to 400 degrees and we are gonna take a baking sheet and put a piece of parchment paper on top. And then what we are going to do is we are going to take 60 grams of shredded cheddar cheese or any kind of cheese for that matter. I always use a mixture. You can use matzo cheese, you can use cheddar cheese, anything will work for this recipe. All right, that is measured out 60 grams. So we are just going to put that on our baking sheet and we are going to make um, two piles of the shredded cheese and we're gonna split them in half. All right, so you are going to uh, spread all of these out in a nice circle, and these are gonna be our shells that we are going to be using for our breakfast tacos. So we are gonna put these in the oven for four minutes at 400 degrees. All right, well, that is warming up. It's still preheating. I am just going to preheat my, I'm just gonna preheat my air fryer because that is where I'm gonna put the, that is where I'm going to cook the bacon. So we're gonna preheat our air fryer. All right, these cheese tacos are out of the oven, so we're gonna let them cool for a few minutes and our bacon should be done in a couple minutes as well too, and then we will assemble them. All right, then in a frying pan, we are going to take two eggs and I have put some everything but the bagel seasoning and some salt and pepper on them. And we are going to scramble these two eggs just in the frying pan. And then we will start assembling our tacos. All right, next what we are going to do is we are going to move our tacos onto a plate. Then what I do is I mix some mayonnaise. Sometimes I put on some mayonnaise, but sometimes I will mix the mayonnaise with a little bit of hot sauce. But today I'm just going to keep it simple and just use mayonnaise. So I am going to put a little bit on each. And then I am going to put my egg mixture and split it up and I'm gonna put half on each. 
Then I'm going to slice up my bacon and I'm going to put one slice of bacon chopped on each of my breakfast tacos. And that is going to be it. And then what you do to eat it is you just fold it up and eat it just like that, like a taco. These are absolutely delicious. They were my go-to pretty much a few times a week. I would say half of my week I was having this. Half of the other week I was having an egg scramble which was pretty much the same ingredients, just done a different way. Sometimes I will have add an avocado as well to this as well but you guys can add whatever if you wanted to add in a little bit of vegetables you can do that also. So this is going to be meal number one and I will have the macros of the calories and the total carbs on the screen. All right everyone for my second meal today this was another go-to super super simple but my favorite food is pizza. A lot of you know that I've been here for a while. I have created a lot of keto pizza meals because pizza is my favorite food. So I've done a lot of recipes that include pizza in order to make it low carb and to keep it keto. But this was one recipe that was very, very, very simple and you guys can make it and I promise you it'll take away that pizza craving because you'll be satisfied with what you're eating in this next meal. It is going to be a no crust pizza. So let's get started. All right, my next meal, which I'm going to take with me for supper, but I am going to prep it right now and I will show you how I make it. This was another go-to of mine when I was craving pizza and it is a no crust pizza. So let me show you how I make that. All right, so I am going to start with one serving of the Rayo's pizza sauce. Uh, this I usually get off of, this I usually order off a of Nutramarket. I will have their website linked down below, but this is one thing that I cannot find close to me whatsoever, so I do have to order it online. So we are gonna add a serving of that, which is 60 milliliters. And what I normally do if I am making this at home is I will make this recipe all on um, in a pie dish, a glass pie dish, and I will kind of spread it out and make one layer. But today I am taking it with me, so I'm going to do two layers, and I'm going to put it in this oven safe glass dish, which I will be taking with me. So our first layer is going to start with half of the sauce that you had measured out. Then we are going to add our toppings for the pizza. So you can use whatever sort of uh, favorite pizza toppings that you like. I am going to make it a pepperoni and mushroom pizza. So I am going to be using this pepperoni. And total, I am going to be doing 10, but on each of these layers, I am going to be using five. Then I'm going to use four small mushrooms total, but I am going to use two on each layer. And then I am going to measure out our cheese and I'm going to put a little bit on the first layer and then we are going to repeat all of our ingredients for the second layer. And then either on the top of this or when you're first starting on your first layer, I am just going to add some oregano and also some basil. And that is it. We are going to throw it in a 350 degree oven for just a few minutes. All right, and this is it out of the oven. So I'm just gonna let that cool for probably like 10 minutes or so before I cover it and take it with me for my supper. But I left it in there, I would say probably five to seven minutes. And it's just mainly to melt the cheese and to get everything well combined. Really, really good meal, super easy. And I will have the calories and the total carbs on the screen right now. 
All right, for those that are new to my channel, we have chickens. We have two chickens and I'm going to give them a little treat. They haven't been laying lately, still. So they haven't been laying like on a regular basis for I would say probably a good month. So I'm just going to give them a mixture of oatmeal with some eggshells because eggshells will also up their egg production. So I am going to give them a treat and I will introduce you to our chicken. This is our first chicken that we got. This is Yoke. She is, I would say probably two years old now. And she is our friendly chicken. We love her. She comes to her name. She flies up on you to, you know, get a pet and she's just full of personality. We've had her since she was only two days old. So we handled her quite a bit. And I think our other one is actually laying an egg maybe right now because I think she's in the coop. So let's check on her. Oh, are you laying an egg? This is Sunshine and she hopefully is laying an egg, um, but they have not been laying too many eggs whatsoever. So I'm just gonna let her be and let her lay her egg because they usually sometimes lay in the morning and it is still fairly early. I think it's like 10.30 and they usually do lay their eggs, I would say um, before noon usually. But yolk maybe is the one that isn't laying, but I'm not sure. I'm going to give them those egg shells and I also usually give them oyster shells but I am all out, so I do need to order some more of those off of Amazon. And hopefully that will kind of rectify because it's been nice here now for the last couple weeks for sure. So there is no reason why they shouldn't be laying on a regular basis now. So that is our chickens and we will see them tomorrow. We come in here every day. They're very low maintenance actually, um, chickens. But uh, I just love them. They are like such a great, great pet. And... Uh, we are thankful that they do lay eggs, uh, usually, for us every day. So that is yo. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling, we tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, I could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now, this is who All right, so I came to get some gas before I go to work and look at who I found over there. It's Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, what do you have to say today to the fine folks on my YouTube channel? Some square was cutting me off on the way up here. <laughs> that was me. Oh, <laughs> All right, everyone. I am just going to get some gas and I will check in with you. All right. I am at the Canix. And as you can see, we do have a Canada Post. That is where I mainly work. All right. We also have a liquor store, which is straight ahead. And like I said, it's kind of like a glorified convenience store. So we do have a lot of snacks. And we also have kind of like a mini grocery store as well too. So we have a whole bunch of grocery items and we also sell appliances in here. And we also sell some furniture as you can see there. And um, against the wall is kind of just army gear and camping gear, which we do sell because it is popular. And that is about it. It's, it is a big store. Um, we are fairly busy and we also have like a Tim Hortons kiosk where people can also get coffee as well too. And that is it for the store. I want to be daring baby dance the night away I let my head down if I won. I am I just pulled up into work and I am like a half an hour early today because I did have to stop and get gas and I also did want to visit Zoe at work because I worked all weekend. I'm working again today on Sunday. So um, she usually sh stops by the house and comes for supper, comes for a visit, and I didn't get to see her all weekend because I was working. So I wanted to visit with her. So I had a good little visit with her to say hello, see how she's doing because she is moving. 
Um, she is moving abode probably, I guess 45 minutes from where we live now instead of like the 20 minutes um, where she is living right now. So we'll still be able to see her often, but she is quitting the job that she is at, uh, working with me at the Canics, and she is going to be working where she is moving to. So it's a sad moment. It's a really, really sad moment when your kids start leaving home. I remember when they were little and I could not wait until they turned 18 and they would be independent and you know, they would be moving out and I could live my life and do whatever I want whenever I wanted. And now I regret saying all of that because I am going to miss seeing her. I already do miss seeing her. And the only time I seen her was um, two or three times a week when she was at work. But now I will probably only see her once every couple weeks, I would say, or maybe once a week. We'll see how it, how it works out. But um, so I did get to see her. So her and Jimmy are actually going to spend time together tonight and have supper together while I am at work. All right, it is supper time. It is four o'clock, which was perfect timing because I am getting hungry. And I had one bite of this. I actually, I left this in the car because it is hot today. It is 34 degrees Celsius, Celsius here. And I left this in the car because there's no point on me taking it in just to come back out because the service in there, like the reception for my cell phone is absolutely horrible. Like they don't have Wi-Fi or anything like that, but I can just go off my 3G, but it's still horrible. So I always tend to be coming out to my car for my supper breaks. Um, and to be honest, I'm okay with that because I can just eat my lunch in here anyways. But I wanted to tell you guys because well this I know this is good anyways because I've have it lots and I uh, honestly well when I was losing and even now I I crave this I say that about every pizza dish I make I know but this is clean carbs there is nothing there is no like um, carb quick or anything like that to make the crust out of so and it tastes honestly the same you will not miss the crust in this pizza because it tastes exactly the same so make sure you give it a try and the good thing is is it is all clean keto also I will have an update for you guys tomorrow because we are finally getting gravel put down on our front lawn because here in southern Alberta it is really really hard for us to grow grass um, we thought about getting artificial grass but it's just a little hamlet that we live in and to spend that kind of money is just not worth it in my opinion so we decided to put gravel in the front and I'm gonna do like I'm gonna figure out some sort of decorative thing I'm gonna get some white rock with maybe like some flower pots and make some sort of like decoration in the front Jimmy had planted grass seed in our backyard I would say two years ago and he babied that thing and he babied it he watered it every day twice a day you know even like sectioned it off so the dogs wouldn't be going on so it would grow properly and it looked fantastic I want to say like two summers ago and now he went out and mowed the lawn a couple days ago and it's all weeds again all weeds so I said we are not spending the time to plant seed again and do anything like that I said we'll just leave it and at least the dogs will have like something it's weeds but still so we're not gonna bother with that but I will show you guys the progress tomorrow so the guy is coming tomorrow to deliver the um, the rock so that'll be good and then we'll just have to get some of that white rock for decoration I get a lot of people that are from Florida I noticed when you guys comment and I read your comments and everything like that and there's a few people that are from Arizona and Florida so I want to know what do you guys do in your front yards or backyards like do you guys do the gravel thing and maybe do some sort of decoration because I would think it's kind of maybe like here but you get it all year round that it's kind of pointless to have grass um, but let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas that you're willing to share of like um, ideas that you do in your front or backyard um, just because of the heat all right I am going to finish my supper and then I will head back into work and I will see you guys after work. And I am back home from work. It is just after eight o'clock and I'm gonna call it a night. I think I might have a diet orange crush right now, but other than that, I think I'm calling it quits. So I will have the total calories and the total 
carbs on the screen because we did a total carb day today. And let me know what you think of these videos. If you like the total carbs, the net carbs, what are you guys doing right now on your keto journey? Let me know down below. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can remind you when I upload a video. Thanks for watching.